welcome to the inaugural Trailblazers. When we thought about putting together the Trailblazers, um, it really was thinking about how the industry is changing and really to celebrate all these people who are making these huge changes. Retailers and fashion need to embrace this idea of inclusivity, meaning every single customer is a niche customer. And when they are loyal, they will come back time and time again. So to us, Trailblazers is a significant opportunity. We're looking at about $130 billion, if you will, between adaptive and plus size, which is also an opportunity from an inclusive design perspective. There's no reason why 100 million women in the US should be ignored. You know, we found that uh, we can tell you that women of all sizes want to buy the clothing that makes them stand out. And through Trailblazers 10, the Alvanon and Corsite research pushed the envelope. We're able to help the retailers push themselves to think about things in a new way. So we knew we would never be everything to everyone. So we picked the shape, we picked the lane, and we said we're gonna master this one lane, and when we master it, we'll move on to something else. Fashion industry is a $1.2 trillion industry, but still shopping for fashion is painful. The fact is we should be surrounded by beauty. We should be surrounded by better design. It's not that hard. You don't have to be a designer, because you're all designers already. You designed your way to work, you designed your outfit, your haircut, and everything I say will help you in what you're doing, whether you're running a company or at college or going on a date. My husband was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and I found myself in a world that I had no idea about. I decided to fix it and create a new adaptive technology with magnets in it. Part of our mission is to help every single person, no matter what you're going through, no matter what your condition is. Uh, and so what I would ask of fashion designers is think of everyone and how can you impact the most amount of lives. I have cerebral palsy. I consider it one of the greatest blessings of my life. I've always been more aware of the perks than otherwise, and I think that what's wonderful about inclusive fashion is that it's trying to include all bodies and celebrate all bodies. 